This blue is not blue sky because there's drizzle coming out of it. The blue is fake cloud, which means it's artificial, it's not real cloud. Take a look back here, you've got white. Blue and white providing the contact. Two different kinds of metals for the contact providing the charge for the glow ball, for energy. <coughs> The whole sky is covered, that means that this energy goes throughout the whole sky that's covered. That's why they always cover the whole sky. That's why lines are always sprayed in holes in the sky because they need that electrical charge, like an electric blanket, heating up the entire atmosphere and cutting us off essentially from heaven. With their iron curtain, they are cutting us off from heaven, from the freshness of heaven, they're cutting us off from the true reality of the sun, which is yellow, sunlight is yellow, consisting of rays. <clears throat> if the sun shines through your window and you have the drape shut, all you're going to see is a hard white line. That's it. There are no rays. This is serious business, folks. This is more serious than Corona. Take a look at all of this wiring here. Satan's lines and lies go throughout all the earth. It's a mimicry. Look at this thing. How evil it is. If you were to bring somebody back from the, to life from the 18th century, they'd take a look at this and they'd start screaming probably. Oh my God, what's that? It's the end of the world. And you know what? they would be right. It's very distressing that people are not picking up on this. That they throw their hands up in the air and they say to me, what can we do? What do you mean what can we do? Open your mouth, say something, make some videos, show what's wrong. But I don't think people have grasped the enormity of this. Please read the Invisible Rainbow by Arthur Furstenberg, F-I-R-S-T-E-N-B-E-R-G. It's available for free online on a PDF, blue and white. It's so evil and really so obvious. If you just take time to look, but most people are not willing to look and they, and they really, they don't believe in their heart of hearts <coughs> that anything is really wrong. You know, it hasn't been talked about on television except for it, 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 talking about conspiracy theories and making fun of it. Take a look at this blue and white. Just like yesterday, only yesterday we had a washboard sky blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. I'm, I've uploaded this or I'm going to upload it. This is what drives the temperature for the glow ball. Why is that important? The thing is, they need to get this iron into the clay and they're doing it by, with electricity and gas, metals-based gas. And the temperature's going up. And what better way than to blame the populace at large for their own sins? Look at this. And to make people believe that if they just get rid of their cars, everything will be okay. I have a friend, she rides around all only and all the time on her bicycle. She hates airplanes, she hates cars, she says it's all bad, it's all evil. I'll tell you what, I don't even think planes fly on kerosene. Can you imagine loading a plane's wings up with kerosene and flying with it? It's, there's so much wrong with what we have been told <clears throat> about everything. What we have been made to believe, and it's all going to culminate in the wrath of Satan, which is going to be blamed on the populace at large, which it already is because of the glow ball. And what's going to be suggested is not what SDAs call Sunday worship, but what is going to be suggested, in my opinion, and more or less according to the Bible, 
the saying that has been shall be again is going to be human sacrifice in the public square. Only this will appease Satan and make him manifest. Think about it.